Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jalen, if you don't know, and today I'm going to be doing a thrift haul of the past three thrift with me's that I did in like a shorts form. Those were all filmed this week, and today I'm just going to put all the items together and show you guys what I got. I haven't even unbagged them. Um, they're just sitting here. I have a little bit of unorganized chaos going on behind me. That's okay. Here we have the damage. Um, five bags I think we have here. This is not bins or anything. This is just regular thrift stores um, or regular Goodwills. But I'm just gonna dig into them. I think in order too. This was the first trip of the week. Um, I think there's only three items in here and I did post a thrift with me video of this. Starting off strong, we have these. I was instantly drawn to them. I want to call these 2000s. They are Faded Glory. If it'll focus. They're Faded Glory and they're just like low-rise cargo pants. Um, obviously that like army green kind of and baggy straight leg throughout. Obviously low rise, you have a pretty short, actually it's not that short, but I think that they would be low rise, maybe mid rise. I don't know. I was drawn to them. Maybe you can call it gorp core. Lots of pockets, buckles, zippers, everything. I just love the style of these. I wish I could rock this with like a short top, but I don't think I can. The sides even can like buckle to cinch the waist if you needed to. I think that's so cool. That is number one from the first trip. Number two, we have some Lululemon leggings. I believe they're full length. I haven't done any measurements or anything like that, but they do have like mesh almost throughout. And then the last item from this first trip could honestly be worn with those cargo pants, but I also feel like this is, I wanna say it's 2000s. I could, it could be, it's some type of vintage, but you can see all of the shimmering sequins that I was drawn to. I see a lot of little dainty sequins tops um, in my thrifting adventures, but more often than not, they are damaged or ripped or the sequences are missing in some areas, and this one seems pretty much perfect. I love that it's like this stretchy, you can probably see the texture but it's like this stretchy material and it's also kind of sheer. I don't know if you can tell, but not per like entirely sheer, but definitely would need to wear something under, I think, but I love it. I just think it's so cool. My second trip was a Goodwill trip. This was impulsive and before work because I had some extra time and I just ran in and honestly was gonna run back out. Um, I'm not a big, I don't know. I feel like some of the Goodwill stores are a little crazy lately with their prices, but these weren't bad. Um, there were no sales or anything, but these were just the ones that I picked up and couldn't put down. First that I'm going to show you is this Princess Polly shrug. This place had an odd amount of Princess Polly, I feel like. I don't know why, and it wasn't even all the same size, so it wasn't like someone like came and dropped off a bunch, but there was a lot, but I really liked this. This is... Princess Polly, it's just like a shrug. I think that's what you would call this. So it just, I don't think this is, oh, it says small medium. Like you would just have it here and I just think that's so cute. Especially for like, I don't know, someone like me. I think this would be so cute over a dress um, in like the summer because I get cold in every air conditioned spot. So just a little shrug. I think you could like bring it up a little more, but I, I really like it's just simple. I don't know. And then following that same neutral trend, this is Abercrombie. Um, it's just like a long sleeve waist length, I would say, but it depends on your height. Um, top might look a little cropped. This folds over how you please. And then it has like this slanted semi off the shoulder thing going on that I really like. Um, obviously that neutral color and the material of it, I don't know if you can tell by looking at it, but it is giving like the Skims Sculpt bodysuit material, which I feel like a lot of these Abercrombie um, line, the Soft A&F collection has, but it's also super thick. But a good season staple that I was drawn to again, honestly cute with some shorts as well. Another kind of random piece that I picked up and just could not put down, it's pretty basic, it's super lightweight, um, 
it's obviously like a denim shacket, I guess. I want to say it's like an XL, but I think it would be cute as an oversized fit. And I was just drawn to the dark denim and like the kind of fadedness of it. I don't even know if you can tell, but I just think this would be cute to throw on. See, even on the light denim, I think it's a look. Um, I think this would just be easy to throw over literally just about anything. Yeah, that was my vision for this. An easy little light jacket. And then this last one caught my eye right before I was walking out, as she should. Tell me if you say aloe or alo. I say aloe, um, but alo. Workout brand, it's a crew neck. No size tag. I think it's maybe an oversized small or oversized medium. The wrists are kind of small, but it's just like distressed. Can you even see? You can see that it's like distressed. Um, purposefully kind of all around except for like the chest and back area but I thought it was cool kind of a grungy look but super super thick quality because love aloe and these last three bags that you can see lingering right here those are all from the same last third trip they're just from like a regular thrift store near my house and um it was on Memorial Day and there were crazy sales. Well, there were three colored tags that were 50% off, so this is a pretty big one. <laughs> Starting simple because for some reason this is the only thing in this bag. I don't I don't know why they bagged it this way, but it's this little quilted, it, I think it screams cottage core, like just like the dainty little florals of it. It's got longer straps, so a cute little like long tote. It does zipper shut and it has some little pockets on the outside and the inside. No particular brand that I was aware of. It just says 100% cotton, but I thought it was so cute. And I couldn't put her down. Super dainty and adorable. Next, I'm going to hop into this one. I have a lot of dainty tanks in this one. First up is this one. I I mean, you could argue that these could be sleep tops as well, but I think that these, this is so cute. It's not see-through or anything. It's just solid satin. And this with these jeans, that's adorable. And like even a heel, honestly, I think that's so cute. I have a couple of similar tops like that. This one might be my favorite. This one's a little bit more sheer um, and definitely needs like a nice wash and has been loved but I couldn't put it down look at those little tiny dainty embroideries I'm obsessed um kind of sheer as you can see you could have a bralette under and be fine I think and then just like really cute dainty white lace around and also on the bottom but another like elegant one I picked up this very simple black one as well this one is, I think, definitely a little bit more sheer than the others, although it doesn't look it through the camera. Just a basic black one, same vibe, lace, black satin, cute little easy top. This one is Theory, and it is just like this really pretty deep purple. This one actually is double lined in the chest, so I think that this is meant to be a shirt. Um, it is not see-through at all, like even in the bodice but the chest does have another lining. So I think this is meant to be a top rather than a sleep top, but I suppose it could always be both. Very soft satin, I love the color. And I feel like these all look really good with the light denim I have on right now. But that one is Theory. You could argue that you could wear this as a top as well, but it is Victoria's Secret and I just think it's gorgeous. It's just like, it's like this fairy top um the top is not like the chest is not see-through at all i don't think it has a very thick padding almost double lining um and it is wired but then like the rest of it i love that it's kind of split down there in the two materials of like sheer and lace and chiffron i don't know if i'm saying that right and then like the double straps i love it super dainty and fairy-like in my opinion. Another kind of simple top, but also not too simple, but like would go with many bottoms, although it is very short. Um, straps are entirely adjustable. It is Princess Polly. I didn't, on all of the Thrift With Me's, I didn't tell you guys what I actually picked up. 
Um, so this is me kind of telling you everything I got. But I like this. I think it's cute. You can see the little details in the lace, in the little buttons, in the tie. I think it's a cute little crop top. All right, you're gonna think I'm crazy for this one. I couldn't put it down. I probably fell for the um, free people trick uh, <laughs> that some people fall for, but it is new with tags, free people. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but the MSRP or the retail for the free people tag is $88. Um, and I, I just couldn't put it down. It's, it's just a super mini skirt. I almost debated that it could be a top, but I, <laughs> it's definitely a skirt. Um, it has a little slit right there and it's just sequin around. I think it's cute. I think the right person could definitely pull this off, even if you save it for New Year's or just special occasions, but super sparkly. <laughs> My boyfriend burst out into laughter when I showed him this and I know a lot of other people would too, but I thought it was cute. I thought she had potential. Okay, I had to pick up, I'm pretty sure these are Hottie Hots. Um, I love the color of them. There is your logo. They look like, they even might be like a longer inseam, um, like a four inch inseam, which I love, um, but they look lower rise. But Lululemon, Hottie Hots. Another really cute skirt, I thought, and I wish it was my size. Um, I also don't know how to pronounce this, and I think I'm going to get bullied for it, but Eddie Bayer? 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 I, I don't know, but I think you know what I'm trying to say. Um, but it's just this longer denim skirt. It's not like a midi. It's not a mini. It's depending on you how you wear it. It could be like right above the knees or right at the knees, also depending on your height and whatever, but I was just... I couldn't put it down. I think it's so cute. It has pockets. It's got zipper closure. It has belt loops. It has pockets in the back too. And then you have that like tiny little back slit that I think is so cute. Okay, another brand that I can never find myself to put down is White Fox. This is White Fox size medium. It is like this corset top. It has this cool print throughout. This purple, white, almost looks like petals of some sort of flower. Um, it also has letters, I don't know if you can see, but it says like white fox kind of very faintly and like distributed throughout. It is wired, so corset style all around and including the bust, and then it has like that half bust coverage. I don't know how else you would explain that. And then you just tie it like a halter neck. Another free people top, but this is free people movement. So you can see your logo right there. Pretty compression, but it is stretchy. And it's like that seamless material that I love. And I just loved the colorway of her as well. That's it for that bag. And now we are onto the last bag of the last trip. I couldn't tell you which bag has my favorite. There were so many other things I wanted to pick up too that I'm thinking about right now, but a lot of them had all sorts of damage, which I wouldn't shy away from. I would try to fix, but I need to get better at my sewing. And I have projects right now that I'm already practicing my sewing on, so I didn't want to just add to the pile. Um, but eventually. Okay, another, I feel like this brand is kind of similar to White Fox, but this is Tiger Mist. These are so cool. I don't know if the lighting is really going to focus on like the features of them, but they're just wide or straight legged um, business style pants, but the material and the stretchiness of them, I can definitely tell that they are super flattering to the figure. They have these button like belt loops. The back pockets are fake and there are no side pockets. So it's like a tight fitted pant at the top and then it kind of flares out a little bit. These could be worn as business or honestly to go out. Uh, I just was drawn to them. Who doesn't love a basic black pant? Next we have, next we have Beginning Boutique. It is new at Tags, as you can see. I am obsessed. I think it's so cute. It's, it's I think, perfect for summer and spring right now. Super lightweight, dainty. I don't know if you can see that it's like kind of sheer in the sleeves, but it's double lined everywhere else. Smocked back, kind of flares out. I guess you could call this baby doll style. Here is your tag and it says it is the ruby green baby doll mini dress. Yeah, so baby doll style. Super adorable. Abercrombie & Fitch. This is a denim that I am always drawn to for myself as well. I am 
addicted. I actually have this exact same pair, but these are the Curve Love, Curve Love Abercrombie and Fitch light wash, high waist, straight leg denim. Okay, just a few items left. I'm gonna save maybe the best for last, you can debate. This is one of them, super, super soft, but this is airy offline. I don't know, it says, it doesn't say what style. Sometimes it does, but airy offline. These are like seamless ribbed little shorts. They're so soft and pretty stretchy also. I really like the colorway as well. And then lastly from this bag is these Lululemon leggings. I don't know if I've ever seen this gold logo before. I feel like I have, but I'm not totally sure. But I was drawn to it nonetheless. Um, they do feel like a line material. I haven't looked into it though. I will put it up here. They look either full length or 7 eighths and they also look high waisted. Super soft. They're literally like brand new. Um, no pilling or piling or however you say it. But obsessed. I think they're cool. I always love the funky patterns. And that is my last item. If you want to see more videos like this, then like, subscribe, and comment. And I will talk to you in the comments. And stay tuned for more thrift with me's and thrift hauls and all things of the sort. And other similar videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!